Listen attentively, my fellow brother. The world you live in has provided you with safety, comfort, and care throughout your life. It is natural to seek these things as they were what our ancestors fought and died for. However, too much of anything, even the good things, can be harmful. Remember this, overindulgence in anything is akin to poison. This applies to your comfort and security as well. As the famous saying goes, strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. Weak men create hard times, and hard times ultimately create strong men. This cycle repeats from one generation to the next. Presently, you live in good times where everything is at your fingertips. Convenience has made it easier to live, but it has also led to an unprecedented level of weakness. For example, you can satisfy your sexual desires with virtual videos without even pursuing a real partner. You can indulge in sugary foods that stimulate dopamine in your brain. Think about it. Is this the type of freedom and comfort that our forefathers fought for? As a man, you must come to grips with the fact that sacrifice is your greatest ally. It does not matter if you live in good or hard times. Your duty as a man is to make sacrifices. The ancient principle of sacrifice is crucial to learn as a man. Thus, I present to you the five ancient masculine rules for life that have been forgotten by many, but must be followed by you, my brother. Make sure you watch all the way to the end because the last one is the most important. Now before we get into it, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated. Thanks, brother. Now let's get into it. Rule number five, practice gratitude. While purpose is undoubtedly crucial for a fulfilling life, there is another fundamental principle that goes hand in hand with it. Gratitude. Purpose gives us hope for the future, but gratitude makes us appreciate and take pride in our past accomplishments, providing us with the motivation we need to move forward and achieve even more. Also, it is important to remember this. As a man, it is a good thing that you strive and work towards achieving bigger and better things for yourself. But this is no good if you never take a moment to appreciate what you have. So please, always remember to be grateful. Rule number four, you must be useful. Our society teaches us that being complacent and good for nothing is acceptable, but this is not true. Women in particular often believe that men have it easy because many men today lack usefulness. In ancient times, this rule was of utmost importance. If you were not useful, you would be kicked out of your tribe or put to death. Men had to develop their skills and hone their craft in order to provide actual value to their community. They were hunters, blacksmiths, farmers, and so on. To make yourself as useful as men in the past, start by learning modern useful skills. This is the idea behind every successful business, providing a product or service that brings value and is useful to customers, children, church, community, and God Almighty. Rule number three, be strong. Sadly, in today's society, it seems that the concept of strength for men has been lost. We are continuously bombarded with messages that promote passivity and weakness. For instance, there are individuals who believe that men should be docile, and some even go as far as to discourage men from developing their physical strength. Media and pop culture also depict fathers as bumbling fools who are incapable of making decisions for themselves or their families. All of this is a way to encourage weakness and discourage men from being strong, both physically and mentally. Those who dare to stand up against this are often silenced and labeled as spreading misinformation. However, it's crucial to remember that it's better to die on your feet than to live on your knees. Our ancestors understood the importance of strength, and they trained both their bodies and minds to face any challenge that came their way. They were warriors who fought for survival with a stoic mindset. Even if you are the only one who stands for the truth, never be afraid to speak up or act on it, even if it means risking your life. Rule number two. Maintain your curiosity. Take a moment to think about all the things in your life that you use and rely on every day, like cars, electricity, and the internet. All of these things started with someone's inquisitive mind and their drive to discover and create. Unfortunately, in today's society, the value of curiosity is often overlooked. However, it is the natural inclination of humans to want to explore and innovate that has led us to where we are today. As men, it is important to embrace this desire for discovery 
and reclaim our role as inventors. You may feel like you don't have what it takes to be an innovator, but remember that many great inventors, like Einstein and Alexander Fleming, started from humble beginnings. You don't have to come up with a world-changing invention to cultivate your curiosity. Start small by exploring the resources around you and using your natural inquisitiveness to solve problems in your own life and the lives of those around you. Rule number one, be disciplined. There is no magic formula or shortcut that will make you great in a flash. It all starts with discipline. It's the force that ignites your spirit and pushes you to keep going even when you feel like giving up. Our ancestors understood this well, especially those from ancient times who had to be disciplined to survive. They had to hunt for food and persevere even when they were wounded or tired. Take the Spartans, for example. They were among the most feared armies of their time because of their discipline. They knew that discipline was the key to their strength and success. However, they eventually became weak and faded away when they started to indulge in luxury and materialism. Nowadays, discipline is even more critical than ever before. The temptation to self-sabotage is everywhere, and it's easier to succumb to it than to resist. The media and doctors may even encourage you to engage in such activities, but don't listen to them. Stay strong and disciplined and you'll be able to overcome any obstacle that comes your way. If you make an effort to apply these rules to your own life, you will be one step closer to becoming more masculine, just like our ancestors. That's it for today's video, brother. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would do me a solid favor and leave a like and hit the subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.